Unit 3, the equilibrium intro. Here we're asked to assume that 0.80 moles of iodine and 1.0 moles of hydrogen gas are placed in a 1.00 liter container and allowed to reach equilibrium according to the reaction. Hydrogen gas plus iodine gas makes hydrogen iodide gas. We're told that at equilibrium, the concentration of hydrogen iodide was 1.2 molar. Well, we can use an ice table in order to follow the changes that are taking place to establish equilibrium. To start off with, let's just write down our equation. We have hydrogen gas plus iodine gas in equilibrium makes two hydrogen iodide gas. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to use an ice table to track the changes. So I'm going to take advantage of my balanced equation and just write our ice table right with it. The first step of an ice table is your initial conditions. Now, we're given it in moles, but we also have the volume. Fortunately, this is an easy calculation of 0.80 moles of iodine divided by a one liter container. This gives us a 0 0.80 molar iodine gas. The hydrogen comes out to 1.0 molar hydrogen gas, and we do not have have any hydrogen iodide to begin with. We're going to figure out what the change is and we're going to work with what happens at equilibrium. We're told at equilibrium that we have 1.2 molar of hydrogen iodide. Now this is quite good because we knew at the start we had none. At the end we have some so there's no choice but for this to have gone up by 1.2 molar. Just as that has gone up the only place we could have got the hydrogen iodide from was from hydrogen and iodine reacting together. That means each of those have to go down by a certain amount. Now here's where it's important to pay attention to some of the details that we're given. We have the coefficients in front of each of our species here. Now, one of them you can see is two with a hydrogen iodide. The other ones don't show anything, so we can assume they are one for each. This means this is in a one to one to two ratio. Whatever the change is that happens to hydrogen is the same change that happens to iodine, and you take and double that to get the hydrogen iodide change. The change is always based around the stoichiometric ratio of your balanced equation. Now, going backwards from that, we can see that we had 1.2 molar change in hydrogen iodide. That's twice as much as the other. So we can assume that this is half as much at 0.60 to get the change that occurred for hydrogen and iodine. This lets us complete the rest of our table to allow us to get 0 0.40 molar of hydrogen at equilibrium and 0.20 molar of iodine at equilibrium.